from Kela Family Scarries, Mina Kadia Scarbia. Welcome again to another exciting episode of the program, The Point. Today, within I see Coach Fukan, you see one of Africa's finest actor winner, Kofi Ajololo. Darami Kaba, the chairman for the Sierra Leone Film Industry Labor and Marketing Guild, which I will then call short Film Guild. Basically, I did in two capacity: one as a president, then um, another as a producer for the movie Why Coffee There. And uh, basically, I think I feel very proud and very happy. Because for me, 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 me aim and my goal of ensure say we open this industry to international flavor, wherein we get people and feel confident for come salon for do films, so that we go open the industry. And also, um, I feel proud because I feel say, Kofi as a person get a young fan base, and if we get them involved into we project them, we do open the market because we market a very small a salon and uh, I so believe back the coffee in presence now yeah and this project get for help the people and maybe don't look up to them as an actor for able to learn something from them and also able for advice we as an industry because me and you know say we industry is just a young industry coming up so there are so many things we need for learn at the go. Um, for me, I think uh, this is one of the biggest projects Sierra Leone is undertaking. Um, we get Kofi and uh, we also hope for get Mamaji, patient from Nigeria. And we the hope for get Desmond Fini, Jimmy B, Honorable Veronica Kadisese, Member of Parliament, and um, Ramadan, Glamour, a whole lot of stars in Sierra Leone in this project director the a whole lot of them like i say it's, it's for me it's one of the biggest projects real unions undertaking so um are they big it's real unions and every other person for coming and support because this is the only way we can able for sell this country the beauty of this country not all the time then for no way for ebola mode slide and all but i think this is a time because this is a perfect story i can tell anybody we get for really open the industry, which I believe because for me, um, I not easily to go into anything. I choose for go into this thing because I believe in them so much, and I believe see what you they about for do, it's gonna break boundaries. Sierra Leone and what was your reaction when you heard the call that you'd be coming to Sierra Leone for this particular movie? Well, my name is Kofi Ajololo. I'm an actor from Ghana. Uh, I have worked extensively in Nigeria and uh, some other African countries and I'm so glad that I'm here in Freetown for the first time. Uh, as I was coming, the last, uh, the last section of the trip, I realized that I've traveled to a lot of uh, countries uh, around the world and uh, this is the first time that I realized that uh, I come to a, a country, uh, get into the capital of the city, uh, cap capital of the country, uh, the city. Uh, I realized that uh, I, I came by air, 
land and sea. <laughs> so it's, it's, it makes uh, Freetown or Sierra Leone very exclusive and unique. Yeah. One thing about uh, African countries, we should all know that we have uh, a lot in common, both good, both, both good, or let's say good, bad and ugly. Uh, we have all in common, and when it comes to uh, all aspects of uh, the society, uh, we're talking of uh, religion, we're talking of politics, we're talking of uh, education, even health. We, you know, we have a lot of setbacks in uh, our systems, especially in Africa. So when I took the script, I, I normally we do a lot of films like you know love stories, you know, and. Uh, epic stories, uh, Chief Tansi and all those things. But uh, yeah, I saw something different that actually I could relate to as a Ghanaian. And the, and the title of the film, the project that I'm coming to do right now, even depicts what I'm saying for my country. And that's the title I know. I don't know if it's a working title though, but that's what I know, yeah. So for my country and for the, the content, after reading the whole thing, I, I could relate to it because uh, <laughs> African countries, we have something in common. And that's exactly what uh, this project is trying to depict. Watching the movies that I've uh, so far watched from Sierra Leone, I don't see any difference. I don't see any difference at all. Uh, it's the same thing when I was in Ghana doing movies and... Uh, I got to Nigeria for the first time. I was called over to come and work in Nollywood. I was thinking I was going to see something different from what I, we were doing in Ghana. Talking about uh, the day-to-day -day, uh, uh, running of uh, the project, like being on set, call time, what you know, uh, welfare, <laughs> makeup and costumes and things like that. It was the same. So look, watching your, your movies, I have that uh, behind my, my, in my mind that uh, it's, it's, it will be the same. It will be the same because we might think, oh, uh, Ghana movie, they have a lot of uh, content. They have a lot of stars. Nollywood has a lot of stars and things. So you might think that uh, the, the, the uh, modus soprano day will be different. It's not too different. It's not too different. So uh, maybe I may say that uh, the industry here is a bit young, younger than the Ghana uh, movie industry and uh, or and uh, Nigeria, Nollywood. I know that uh, I have a lot of fans here. I have a lot of fans here. I have friends and uh, and lovers who love me as far because when I got down at the airport, uh, they were mentioning my name. People were they were coming with their camera, their 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 uh, phones for for pictures, and so that gave me the feeling that oh yeah, uh, I am at home more like you know. So I know that my coming and my participation in this kind of project will create a certain. You, uh, a, a unique impact as far as uh, um, uh, uh, people who watch movies are concerned. Um, we, the, we don't have, I believe that uh, in Sierra Leone we don't have uh, many of the, the African uh, legendary stars coming to perform here. Uh, I, I, I believe that some of them have come and I'm, I'm also here now. So uh, wh whatever it is, the impact that we can create uh, must be able to help this industry grow. Uh, I know there are so many young ones out there in this country who want to be uh, in this industry. It's a large industry, and uh, I think uh, most of the time governments, uh, uh, they, they don't, uh, um, the governments most of the time don't know uh, this our industry, so even if we need help from government, we can't. We don't get it. We don't get it. So they they underestimate our industry here.
But there are so many young uh, actors and actresses who've got talent who can who can be calm, like some people like like us. You understand? So I just want I'm, I pray that for this project that I'm coming to do that I'm involved in, uh, being that I am involved in, will create that kind of impact, positive impact on the young ones in the industry in this country. Uh, I have not been to Sierra Leone before. But I've read so much about Sierra Leone. And I know that Sierra Leone has gone through some very t tumultuous times, uh, turmoils and things like that. And uh, we are all lucky that uh, the country still exists and uh, uh, striving hard to also be um, uh, recognized as a, as a country, a developed African country. Uh, it's so unfortunate, so unfortunate, but um, all the things that I've learned and all the things that I've read about Sierra Leone. I believe that for all these years that uh, uh, we've gone through, both socially, politically, I believe things have changed. I can see some uh, positive development as a country. Because I read a lot, so I don't I don't see anything negative, but I can see some some uh, uh, development, positive movement uh, for for what we are doing now. For especially for the movie industry, this is real remarkable. This is positive, you know. Because look, I believe that before the war, the the before the war, uh, the before the war, the movie industry was not something that you can even talk about in this country. I want to believe that, okay? But for all the turmoils and for all that Sierra Leone had gone through, coming out of it, I said now, we have an industry, arts and culture is improving, and we now have a film industry in this country whereby the young ones can also get something to do. Uh, it's, 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 it's so, um, uh, I think uh, it must, it, it's, it's worth, uh, commenting on and uh, commending. I am known in my industry in Ghana as someone who is very disciplined. I am known to be someone who takes my job very seriously. I am known for someone who doesn't joke. I am known for someone who wants to see everybody on set, from PA to makeup, costume, everybody, uh, welfare, expect everyone to know why he's on that set to work. So the standard that I would want or would expect a uh, Sierra Leone film industry to show to my appreciation, must be a perfect, perfect standard. Perfectionism is my word. Look, this industry, a lot of people don't know that it takes discipline to get to that standard that probably you'll be looking at. My fans, like it is, uh, I, I've, I've just said something about uh, the industry and the, the younger ones who are in the industry coming up. Uh, most especially uh, the actors and the actresses. Um, uh, the whole thing is g get yourself disciplined and then get skilled and, um, you know, you get the skill, getting disciplined and being loyal to whoever is, uh, who, whoever you're working for. And then fourthly, I believe that in this world in which we are right now, if you don't uh, back up your whatever you're doing with uh, your God, uh, you don't have any chance. So it's very important, whilst you're focusing on the job, whilst getting skilled, whilst getting uh, loyal to whoever employed you, you must always remember that it's God who you have to work for, because it's like for God and country. Well, until you don't see, and also, you don't hear what Mr. Kofi Ajololo don't say about 
the package and things them about this movie. Well, plenty to take it to you you take your time for stay with me. Plenty thank you to my executive producer, we are Dr. Satuka Kijalo, my cameraman, we are Sky Bangua, and me will be this program coming to you. Me and Akadia Tukabea. So we'll meet again to an exciting episode of the program, The Points. This one a mad dance with cricket, this style mad wall, HFS, man them hard, mm. the club number style, and we are it's calm, you understand? Okay. 14 to 15, no, no, me no one see, Remember. 15 to 16, no, no, me no one see, 17 to 18, flip and flamp, if you know to do the dance, mm. whining, but baby smile cause you just find no bitches, start the dance, say, ain't no go left and give me, she tip, 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 and a toe, she tap it to the puppy tail, broken dance, oh, Bad sexy pussy cam do the puppy tail dance Cam and do the puppy tail dance Bubble and a jiggle it for me pretty girl Bubble and a jiggle it for me girl See good talk